Yeah, so a lot of us have been uh, pro uh, pro unified indirectly, but now uh, with everything going on after the pandemic and everything, it's time to start to put the pieces into place and uh, take on this biggest task. It's not against the enemy outside. It's the enemy within. And the enemy within is uh, we have flanks of young men who are in between the age of anywhere from 12, 13, 14, all the way to like around 20, I say 25, who believes that they don't have to subscribe to, uh, you know, listening to their older homie, homies. You know, uh, everything as far as military always is uh, has a hierarchical uh, structure that it goes by. And there's no difference. That's our shit. We have always uh, been uh, militarily unified throughout time. This is not nothing new. See, it's a lot of people that this shit that I'm talking about right now would go over, over their head because they don't study. If you study, you knew we always been uh, a military uh, uh, worthy people uh, who has uh, always honored the people who were like predecessors or alumni or avant-garde. Uh, if you don't understand those things that I'm saying, you probably need to, you know, uh, read a little bit more. But what I'm talking about is that uh, there ain't no big dog, okay? And some of the OGs, uh, if they out of line, you know, they they good enough for it too. So this is a we program, not a me. And I'm talking to all you Crips out there, all you uh, neighborhoods, all you trays, all you... Uh, you know, whatever whatever number, all you, uh, you know, uh, allied forces, gangsters, you know, you must understand that uh, to get your hood in order will be the biggest challenge you will ever have if there is, if there, it is possible. And I believe that it is possible I don't, I don't, I have no doubt that we are a powerful sleeper army. I'm talking about these crips. I'm talking about these bloods on a global scale. But we have to be able to manage our inner rankings, okay? Ain't no lieutenants, no generals. Ain't no corporals, no sergeants. Everybody needs to play their position. And if you've been running your own program too long, the shit that I'm talking about will sound like I'm, you know, it will sound foreign. It will sound Chinese. It will sound unreasonable. You'll probably be like, oh, fuck that nigga. But see, that's the very thing that we talking about is cats like you that, you know, you only go by what's in front of you or you're very prejudicial in the respect of you only want your peer, peers, people your age, you have no insight or no inner vision or no real resources. Only the illusion of a couple stacks or if you hit a lick and you got a car. But beyond that, you have no vision, you have no insight, and therefore you must concede to the fact that you have to have somebody uh, who can mentor you or be that friend or that uncle that you probably don't have or that big brother that you don't have because we are in some very trying times. And if we are going to survive and thrive as a people, this is uh, it's not on the table because I got my ideas. You know, my ideas is just say, fuck it. Go get all them young motherfuckers and 
you know. <laughs> yeah, but that would be a blood war, and that is not good thinking. But I have thought that. I, I, I admit that I have thought that. But that would be, you know, catastrophic. And, uh, you know, so therefore that's off the table. So we should be more patient, thorough, and there should be more OGs interacting with the youngsters just by learning how to be their friend first. You know, you can't be somebody who was from the hood for 30, 40 years and then went on and branched off and then think just because, you know, some of some of, some older niggas might know you, but they don't know you to think that you're going to go and tell somebody nothing. No, you have to learn how to be the young homie's friends first. And I get that. So everything is definitely takes its place. And it's, uh, how can we speed this process up, though, is the word. How can we speed up the process of reuniting with the young homies who probably don't see you or who or you haven't seen. Uh, one thing I could say is probably the internet just being becoming friends and stop being so uh, standoffish. And, uh, you know, if they got friends like you, you know they're going to probably belong to your neighborhood if they got 50 of the same friends, but you don't know them. Fuck it, friend them. You know, get to know the homies. You know, I'm, um, I'm, uh, I'm at that point, you know. If it could save somebody's life, I never know. I might need a young homie on call. Or the young homie might need me to save his life. But we need each other. 